In this video I'm going through the cleaning and re-oiling of a dirty no-toil air filter on a 2022 Honda CRF250F. To access the filter on this bike, just back this screw out and then this plastic panel should pop right off. There's four screws that hold the airbox cover in place. Just back those out and the cover comes right off. Then move the set spring aside and you can take the filter out of the airbox. Alright, so with the dirty filter in hand here, we're ready to start the cleaning process. For this, I'll be using the no-toil filter cleaner, oil, rim grease, and a 5-gallon bucket with some warm water. Alright, so starting out with the filter cleaner, the instructions call for 3-4 to four inches of warm water and a quarter cup of the filter cleaner. I got a feeling you don't have to be too exact with this, we're just cleaning a filter, but I'll play along. I poured the cleaner in the bucket of warm water and stirred it around some until I felt like it had all dissolved. It's kind of got a coconut water texture to it, the difference being that one is a disgusting mixture that I'd never think of drinking, and the other is no toil filter cleaner. This is my first bike, so I'm not sure if all machines have this little frame that goes inside of the filter, but mine does, so I had to remove it before getting started. At this point I just started washing the filter. It came clean pretty quickly, I might have spent maybe 60 seconds doing this. And just a quick before and after here, much cleaner. The next step on the instructions was to rinse thoroughly with clean water, squeeze not wring, and allow to air dry. I took the filter out back and thoroughly hosed it down, again squeezing and not wringing the excess water out. Then I allowed it to air dry completely before reapplying the filter oil. In the meanwhile I had this bucket of dirty filter water to deal with. One of the things I liked about the no toil products is the whole biodegradable non-toxic aspect. So rather than having a bucket of poison to figure out, this can go right in the yard. Alright so moving on to the filter oil. Apparently the components inside can separate over time so it's important to shake well before using. Then we just saturate the filter, squeeze out the excess, and give it 15 minutes for the alcohol to evaporate. I poked a small hole in the seal on top of the bottle. Then I just started squirting the oil all over the filter. I was going for that chocolate syrup effect that you see on the mudslide drinks on cruise ships. Apparently that's a lot harder to do than it looks. Anyhow, I just went over it a few times, adding more oil where needed, and working it into the filter. I squeezed out the excess oil, and then reinstalled the frame. At this point everything is done, and we're just about ready to put the filter back into the bike. I let it set for 15 minutes so the alcohol could evaporate. Then I ran a bead of rim grease around the base of the filter. The directions here aren't too specific other than apply liberally, so I just kind of smeared around some. Then at last, the filter goes back in the box. Set spring back in place, airbox cover back on, screws back in, and finally plastics put back where they belong with the screw to keep them there. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like if this helped you out, and see you on the trails. 